My life with narcolepsy it hasn't been easy, but despite that, I've learned how to do adjustments in my lifestyle. I was able to graduate in 2017, which that felt amazing because I spent most of my undergraduate career not knowing that I had narcolepsy and not having accommodations either. So there were many times too that I would cry into my books because I would fall asleep and would have to like reread sentences and thought that I couldn't continue, that it was hard, but then there was times that I would remind myself, you know, you've got this far, you can do it, you can keep going. And even after getting diagnosed, I learned to seek help, to seek accommodations, because I was embarrassed to seek help in school to, to help me. So I started using, you know, the help they provided my university uh, was amazing in, in helping me and, and guiding me. It was a learning experience for me because I didn't even know what would help me. And they were really great because they did not know they had never had a person with narcolepsy. And yet they helped me and that kept pushing me and, and motivated me to, to continue. You know, if I made it this far, then I must finish it. And I did. I decided that despite of having narcolepsy, to pursue my dream and go into graduate school. I'm in my third semester and I really enjoy it. One of my goals being a patient advocate with the rising voices of narcolepsy, I would like to help other people and educate others. So to be diagnosed with narcolepsy, it takes eight to 15 years to get um, diagnosed and a majority of people are walking through life with the condition not getting diagnosed or getting the proper treatment and there's even instances of people getting misdiagnosed with other conditions or disorders and despite of having narcolepsy you can reach your goals and your dreams. One thing that has been wonderful with the Rising Voices of Narcolepsy program was that I didn't, you know, expect to get such a confidence in presenting, to speak up, to not be afraid. Also, when I started into the program and started undergoing the training, my dad wasn't too happy about that. He didn't want me to go through any kind of discrimination or stigma because I was young, I was starting, you know, my career, my life, and he was afraid that if I would speak up, that, you know, something would happen to me or excluded from many opportunities. And I wanted to show my dad that, that on the contrary, when you do not speak up, things cannot be changed. And that by speaking up and educating others, you can raise awareness and erase that stigma. But on my first presentation, uh, my dad decided to accompany me. He saw the difference that it can be when you do speak up and he saw how friendly the room was, how everyone you know, asked questions and would tell him that what I was doing was a good thing. And that opened his mind up. With the help of the Rising Voices of Narcolepsy, I was able to do that.